Yeah, hi guys. A recent survey from the Connecticut Restaurant Association found that more than half of restaurants are worried they will not survive the winter if they don't get an infusion of cash. Luckily, there's a bipartisan bill up for a vote in Congress that would do exactly that. If the walls inside Hartford's iconic Carbones restaurant could talk, they'd speak of the countless important decisions that were forged over whiskey and wine. Republicans and Democrats would be filled in here for lunch and they'd be shaking hands across the aisle to get things done. A fitting location to call on Congress to pass the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. If you remember nothing else about the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, it's bipartisan. The legislation aims to save 18,000 Connecticut jobs by providing direct aid to restaurants. For some, it would be their second lifeline after already getting money from the American Rescue Plan and its PPP loan. But two-thirds of Connecticut restaurants who applied for it got left out. The Paycheck Protection Program was really about paycheck protection, paying your employees. It wasn't offsetting the debt that these restaurants were carrying for 22 months. And that's really where the revitalization, when you talk about rent, you know, uh, like paying all the other bills in the back of house. Shuttered for two years, these place settings haven't been changed since March of 2020. Carbone's hoping to reopen in the spring, COVID pending. You know, you can't act with your heart. You have to act with, you know, make business decisions. People telling Fox 61 why restaurants are an important part of the fabric of a community. It's an easy way to support the community. I really enjoy going out to lunch, dinner. I love it. I think a lot of people do. And uh, by the way, it's worth noting that the uh, Restaurant Revitalization Fund wouldn't just have money for restaurants. There's also some funding in there for caterers, breweries, wineries, food trucks, and other food service establishments. And by the way, Carbones also has two other locations. The one here in Hartford is their most historic and iconic, but they also have a location in Rocky Hill, another in Bloomfield. Both of those establishments are open. For business. We're live in Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.